Hello friends, this video on reproductive health part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this was all about uh, how family planning can be done, what are the different contraceptive methods and how they can be useful and how th there are certain disadvantages also associated with them. So now we will talk about the STDs that is the sexually transmitted diseases. Now there are quite a few diseases which get transmitted only through sexual contact. Now however there are some diseases which get transmitted in some other way also and sexual contact is also one way by which they get transmitted. So diseases which are transmitted through sexual intercourse are called sexually transmitted diseases or STDs. Now it has become a serious concern these days because uh, since people are not aware of these diseases, they end up having unprotected sex and as a result, they suffer from these diseases. Now, not all of them are completely curable, but most of them are completely curable only when detected and diagnosed at a very earlier stage. So even for that also, people should be aware of these diseases that, okay, if I had an unprotected sex, there are chances that I might get infected with some STD. But even that knowledge is not there with people. So that is why for making people aware of it, these kind of uh, topics have been included here under reproductive health. Now, disease examples of sexually transmitted diseases are gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV AIDS, genital and anal warts. These are some of the examples of sexually transmitted diseases among which HIV is one of the most dangerous. However, many of these diseases, if they are diagnosed very early, they can be completely cured if proper treatment is taken. Because in our society, sometimes people feel that it is a matter of shame that uh, somebody is suffering from uh, sexually transmitted diseases. It has also been observed that people do not talk to that person. They make that person completely isolated. So that means the person's life already becomes hell. So, Th that person if he wants to cure himself or herself he, he, herself, he has to come out of all those uh, social stigma and then he has to go for the treatment and if properly treated at an earlier stage he can completely be cured. However, AIDS is one such uh, disease STD which, which is not completely curable even now. Now the question is when we know that some of these can be cured, some of these can't be cured, some of these can't be cured if it is de detected at a later stage. So it is better to prevent these diseases because prevention is better than cure. So what? how can the sexually transmitted diseases be prevented? So some of the ways by which they can be prevented, the first thing is use of condoms as I said before also that these are kind of barriers between the uh, male sex organ and the female sex organ so that means the sexual contact is not established and that as a result STDs can be prevented. So this is one option. The next option which can be used is wash before and after intercourse. Now when you wash the proper hygiene is maintained so that any kind of infection which might have taken place you get rid of that. Confirm that the partner is HIV tested before intercourse that is very very important. Now, if you know that the partner is already HIV infected, so you know that your chances of getting the disease is very high. So, you should always get confirmed that the partner is HIV tested. Avoid intercourse with multiple partners. Now, when, you, when somebody has intercourse with multiple partners, their chances of getting infected is more. Because when you are actually uh, getting in sexual contact with say 10 people, you don't know about the medical history of all the 10 people, right? But if you are only with one person, so at least you, you can know the uh, medical history of one single person. So your body gets adjusted with that one person. So it, it should always be avoided with multiple partners. Complete treatment post diagnosis of STD. So now once you know that you have been infected with any of the sexually transmitted diseases and then it, it should not happen that okay because what will others think, what will others say. If you believe all those things and if you don't want to go for a treatment then obviously it is not curable. But if you go for a proper treatment as soon as it is diagnosed, yes most of them can, are curable except for some like AIDS which is not yet curable but otherwise most of them are curable but again early detection is equally important because 
you you should be aware of all these things now when you know that there are things called STDs you should be aware of for your own body you should look for symptoms if you feel that there are some symptoms which make you feel a uh, little uncomfortable you should definitely visit a doctor and once diagnosed please you have to go for the complete treatment so these are some of the things which can prevent the transmission of thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.